And in this way, you know, I can I can definitely help these guys and give them a little bit more peace of mind. Right now at six, helping first responders. One local business suited up and gave its time and supplies to help the Youngstown Fire Department. Many local businesses have hired outside companies to come and disinfect and sanitize their office spaces to make them safer to use. But what about the women and men answering emergency calls for help? As First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti shows us, one local company is doing its part to help the first responders. One by one, Youngstown's fleet of fire engines received a well-needed bath this morning, free of charge. I know these guys, these uh, first responders and, you know, the emergency services that we have, um, you know, they need all the help they can get and, you know, I want to keep them as safe as I possibly can. Michael De La Garza runs Ranger Recovery and Restoration of Columbiana. Recently, he's been offering his services to local police and fire departments to clean and sanitize their vehicles using electrostatic spraying equipment. It's kind of like static electricity. So we spray it and it'll, it'll clean to the surfaces and get 100% coverage. Um, so it uses less product and it, and it covers it better than, than a normal sprayer will. While the process is meant to make the trucks safer for the men and women using them, De La Garza admits he and his workers are taking a risk getting this close to a potentially lethal virus. We're wearing full you know, PPE gear when, when we go out. If, if, you know, bare minimum is masks and gloves. Uh, but we do have suits on when we're going through and, you know, spraying. De La Garza admits this isn't a permanent solution, telling me he urges his customers to sanitize their offices once a week to keep up with possible contamination. But he calls this free service his way of giving back to the community and providing these first responders a little more peace of mind. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.